Hello internet and welcome back to Dark Diode, here with episode number 13 of Mirror Oni, The Village Demon. We left off here, in this seemingly endless hallway, only for the screen to get redder and redder and redder as we progress towards the right. At the end we see a hole in which we will soon encounter the Mirror Oni, which will then try to kill us for fear of us knowing too much about this haunted library. Alright, now what's the chase? We're gonna try our best to get out of here. Alright, what? Okay. Oh dear, this is a crystal thing. Oh no. I suck at these! I, d I don't know where I'm going. Oh dear. Is this... Oh my god, I... Am I trapped? I think I'm trapped. Yep, I was trapped. And ladies and gentlemen, this is another chase scene, which means that there will be a fail counter at the end of this video, so congratulations, fellow viewers. There will be entertainment. Alright, this is attempt number two to try and get out of this place. Uh, yep, already stuffed up. GG's. Oh boy. Alright, I think we need to go for that green crystal right here, which means that we then go down here to collect this other green crystal? I'm not sure where that takes us. And we're dead again, so lovely. Okay, this time I'm gonna grab the green crystal. Or not. We, we don't need to grab the green crystal. We don't need to complete this game. Alright, come on, we can grab that green crystal. Let's do it, come on. There we go, perfect run, perfect. Now we just gotta go grab that blue crystal. I think. Actually, I'm not sure what color crystal that is, and I'm not sure exactly where it is that we're going, so we're just gonna go around in circles. Nope. That is exactly where we did not need to go. It's quite unfortunate. Because now we have to go through this damn corridor. Again. My god, it takes so long to get back into the chase. Alright, step one. Grab the green crystal. Step two. Don't stuff up. Step three. Grab the blue crystal. Step four. Try and figure out where to go from here. And the obvious answer is not here, so let's skillfully maneuver. And by skillfully maneuver, I don't mean that, because that was completely unskilled as you saw. I died. Again. And now we return to this goddamn hallway. My god, man. This hallway. Alright, I have no idea what attempt number this is, but I'm assuming it's in the teens. So, we grab this, maybe we go down. Let's try this. Can we grab that? Yes, we can. What can we do with this crystal? I don't know. We can't go there. So, let's skillfully maneuver. Maybe we can go this way. Can we? Can we? No, no. no. Oh, damn. Game. I'm gonna have to do that corridor again. You know how many times I've done this? Just walk down here and wait until I eventually get to the end? It takes so long. Like, holy damn. Oh my god. I wish I could actually play this game. That would be so nice. It would also be really nice if I didn't have to do the same damn hallway scene every single time. Here we go again. The chase is on between Suki and the mastermind of the Mirror Oni. Although, I mean, Suki is a mastermind of the Mirror Oni. She knows so much about it already. So, let's continue on. We need to go to the right here and maybe go up. No, but that just takes us to this table. Oh god, where do we go? Where do we go? Is this it? <gasps> it is it. Okay, where does that take us? What does that allow us to go? I don't know. I'm thoroughly spooked. Not spooked, really. I'm just really annoyed. Come on. Oh, look at this. Perfect run. Ah, oh, shit. Um, I don't know. Do we go this way? I can't remember. Do we go this way? Oh my god, yes, we do go that way. Okay. Mirror Oni is right behind us, and I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Come on. Is this it? Is this it? I think we did it! Yes! Whoa! We did it. Oh my god. Okay, that chase wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, but it was pretty bad, I'm not going to lie. What's this? I'm a library. S Suki? Suki! Hello? Huh? Oh my god, that was... Oh, it's so good. 
We're finally over that part. We're now in the next section of the game. Sasuke, what are you doing here? What am I doing? I don't know. But after I left Tsubaki's house, I heard mumbling over here. Turns out it was you mumbling. I was here trying to snap you out of it for a good minute or two. Dude, we were in a whole other dimension. Don't tell me it was just because we're on LSD again. I'm sorry. I'm not exactly sure what happened. You sure you're okay? I feel fine now, don't worry. Well, okay. Yeah, if I were you, I'd be a little bit concerned too. But whatever. Let's head home. It's getting late. Mum will worry if she wakes up and finds out that we're not home. Of course. Oh, hey, Hikaru. How's it going? Well, I'll see you tomorrow, Hikaru. Good night. Good night. Oh man, I wonder what's going to happen now. Because, remember, Suki still got that mark on her hand, and I'm not sure what that's going to cause in future events. Is that what caused her to go into that whole different dimension? Which was, in reality, all in her mind? Act 5, The Village Demon. Great, we're in the final act of the game. So, we must be soon reaching the conclusion of this run of Mirror Oni. Now, before we go on, I just want to mention that what I will be doing is, after this, if I don't get the true ending in this run, I will make two separate videos where I show the true endings of both paths. The paths of, well, the path of regrets and the path of forgiveness. And then after those, I'll be making a separate video on all of the endings and showing exactly how to get each and every one, as well as all of the different endings themselves. It appears we are an, at an impasse. Very well, we will do what we must. Even if it means killing you, my dear. For the future, for the safety of our town. All oh, right, this is Daisuke. A few days after my visit to the town officials, Suki had gone missing. No one knew where she had gone. It's possible she was spirited away by the village demon. I had to do something. I spoke with her mother, who was teary-eyed. She was still getting over the grief of losing her husband. So, Aika, you really don't know where Suki could have gone? No, I... I don't know. That's unfortunate. It's going to be a lot harder for me to find her then. Don't worry though, I will find her. You have my word. Thank you so much, Daisuke. Shortly after, I spoke with Hikaru. He didn't seem to know anything either. I was determined to find Suki. After all, she went through all that trouble months ago just to find me in the forest. I still felt so grateful for that. Now, it was time to return the favour. I entrusted Tsubaki with searching the forest while I would head north towards the hit the while I would head north toward the cliffside. Suki must have gone to the outskirts of town. As long as I follow that path, I should be able to find her. Time to test the limits of my bravery. She's counting on me. Yes, siree. I believe that this is all going to be the same, so if anything happens, I'll make sure to resume recording then. Oh, that's that's new. Look at the north. There's a brand new gate there that we didn't see in our previous run, which completely prohibits us from going through that path. I was originally planning on taking the upper road because in the last one we went straight through, but I guess this time around we're simply not allowed. Now it's making me even more curious as to what was up north in that northern path. Seems I can't go past this point. Anyway, all of this is pretty much going to be the same, so I'll be back. Ha, huh, so that's interesting. 
I could be wrong, but I believe that this music is in a higher pitch than it was before. So perhaps this is a better ending than the one we got in the previous run. Because before it sounded really somber and really dramatic, like we were on a suicide mission, but now it sounds like we're on a rescue mission. Like we're gonna do this, you know? Okay, I think this is a happy ending as well because in the previous run, this specific section and the music that was played here was slowed down and thus it sounded a lot more depressing, basically. But it's normal version now, which makes me think that we're going to get some kind of happy ending, which is really good to hear. Okay, so this is new stuff. It's what I wanted to say back at the river and it's time I told you. Suki, I like you, and I always have liked you, ever since you saved me from isolation in the past by the river. Now that the future seems grim, I thought I would finally tell you. Please, Suki, please tell me that somewhere deep in your heart, you hold feelings for me too. I... I can protect you. I could die happy knowing you return my feelings. Die scared. Oh, okay, we've got another save point. Okay. Not a save point. Decision. Alright. Oh, things are getting spicy again. Okay, well, the last time that we did this, right, we, well, we didn't get this specific decision at all because we already admitted our feelings to Suki in the previous run, back at the river, all the way back in Act 1 or 2, one of them. And it resulted in a really bad run. So, I, I want to, I don't know, man, <laughs> this is difficult. I feel like we should go with I'm sorry to continue the theme of the run that is selecting the complete opposite choices that we made in the previous run and because we said yes that we wanted to tell Suki our feelings let's just go ahead and say I'm sorry to continue theme of this particular run I this will also well actually I was going to say this is going to prevent the possible bad end that we need to end up uh, dying because Daisuke is immobilized by the Mirror Oni, but he doesn't have the mark. So I guess that he's not going to be able to be immobilized. I'm so sorry, Daisuke. I'm afraid I don't share the same feelings as you. Please, I hope you understand. I just can't see ourselves as anything more than friends. I get it. I feel really bad telling you this, but you deserve someone better than me. Someone who doesn't mess up as much as me. Someone who doesn't need to be saved every second of the day. I... well... At least I mustered up my courage to ask. Hell yeah, dude! You did that, and that was damn brave. I'm proud of you, my dude. And I commend you for having such courage. We can still be friends, and even after this, our friendship will stay close. You have a point. It's getting late. We should all head home. At this point, we shouldn't risk being out in the open anymore. I was stupid to disregard that rule. For now, we should stay safe. We can formulate a concrete plan tomorrow. Sound good? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you bet. No objections. Hikaru? Sounds great, sis. Perfect. Alright, let's head home, Hikaru. Alright, so... We're nearing the end of this run, which is quite awesome. <laughs> uh, that was not the best word for that. This is quite... I don't know what other word to use. Anyway, it's going to be great. 
because after this we're going to be able to experience the true runs, the true endings of both this run, the path of forgiveness I assume, considering we're getting a happy ending, and then we're also going to see the true ending for the path of regrets. But so I'll make sure to do in separate episodes you will see the complete ending of both in the next couple of episodes, so stay tuned. But of course this isn't the end of the episode, just what uh, my upcoming plans are. I'm glad we're all in this together, you know. We're not alone. We have our friends. Heh, <sighs> sorry for being cheesy. <laughs> and of course this is Suki and I walking home. Well, not Suki and I, but Suki and Hikaru walking home. It's funny how our casual everyday lives turn into something like this. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to skip that, but... Anyway, this, you've all seen this before in the previous run, so... I'll get back when there's some new content. Oh, this is new! Oh my god! Daisuke, there you are! Why is Kasumi on the ground? What... what happened? What... Also, this is what I said. Because Daisuke doesn't have that mark on him, he can't be immobilized. So, he's free to do what he wants. Which means we're not going to get the same ending as last time. Kasumi. Mum. She's... She's not moving. N no. Why? Won't believe any of this. I'm really sorry, Daisuke. Kasumi was a really great person. Raising you all by herself, and enduring through these tough times back in the city. She was a big help in my research too. I'm really sorry that she's gone. Suki, what's going on? Everything's falling apart. Is it really the end? Listen, we have to get out of here and check on Tsubaki. I think Hikaru's there too. Out of here first. This house could collapse at any second. I'm staying with Mum. Don't be absurd. You'll be in danger staying in here. You're the one who's absurd. I'm not leaving my Mum here. You can't bring her along. What, well, dude? What are you gonna do? Carry her a lifeless corpse? That's not exactly a great way to mourn. I said I'm staying here. Please don't try and persuade me. I... I don't want to lose you too. Please. I'm sorry I can't return your feelings. But I'm still your friend, aren't I? I care about you. The thought of losing a friend so dear to me. I can't bear the thought of that. I hope I'm not sounding selfish right now. Think of how I would feel. Living every day but missing that one friend who would grip me in the morning. I can't find my mum, and I don't want you to disappear too. Please, think about what you're throwing away by disappearing. What about your future, Daisuke? Weren't you thinking about that? Do you really want to throw that away? Do you really want to throw away the confidence that you've been building up all this time? Was that all supposed to mean nothing? Why was that text blue? Suzuki. Is this a decision? Or what? What's happening? Come on game, tell me what's happening! I'm not sure. Just got some flashes of light. I'm sorry. Oh no. Oh yes! Actually, I wasn't thinking properly. I don't want you to suffer because of my absence. And I was stupid for thinking I could throw all that away. After all, I said I'd protect you, didn't I? After I gained enough confidence. We both need each other, even if we're just friends. Isn't it true that true friends stick out for each other? You're right. I should go check on Tsubaki. Mum. I'll be back. In an Arnold Schwarzenegger voice. Let's go. Alright, sweet! 
We can actually go to Subaki's house this time. Daisuke has accompanied you. Alright, let's go quickly. Come on. What was that? Oh my god, what happened? That didn't sound good. Oh, that was just the house. Okay, never mind. See ya, mum. Your house. I'm glad we got out of there in time. If we stayed a second longer. I thought that was something completely else. I feel like that would have had more impact if the sprite of the house actually collapsed. Or something like that. Or it turned on fire. Alright, let's see what Tsubaki's up to. Come on, don't be dead. Don't be dead. You don't have a mark on you. I'm the only one with a mark. It should be okay. Whoa. Look at those particle effects. Ooh. Tsubaki. Why were you all turning to face uh, Hikaru? It's Hikaru. Hikaru? Why? Why are you holding a knife? Oh! Uh oh! Suki. I. He's trying to kill himself. Oh my god! But what? Hikaru, please don't do this. Love you more than anything. You might be my only family left. Everyone else. Everyone else is gone. Sis, it's over now. I want to leave this terrible world. Nothing has ever gone right for me! Some people will tell me that's life, but... If life will continue to be like this... Don't do it, dude! Don't you dare do it! Misery. Suffering. Endless pain. If that's what life will give me from now on, I'd rather leave. There's no hope for any of us anyway. Suki, have you seen the town? Buildings destroyed. Everything set aflame. Human remains littered everywhere. And you know what's ironic? All of this is my fault. Y your fault? Come on, please don't joke around. I'm not! Hikaru. Everyone has me to blame for this. Suki. Can't you see? I'm the village demon. Dun dun dun! What are you talking about? Don't be absurd! I did all of this. I was the shadow's vessel. And I fueled its sick desires. Because... The demon. It feeds off of my feelings of depression, hopelessness. Even now, it's growing stronger from my somber air. I can't stop feeling this way. If... If I end myself... The demon will leave us all alone. Staying alive any longer. Even if it's just for a little while longer. I'm going to give this demon unstoppable power. I don't want that. Hikaru, please. The town. We've already lost so many people. I... I don't want to lose you too. Hikaru, you're our friend. Please. Think about this a little more. Suzuki. Can you let me handle this? What? Please, Suki. Hikaru, he's always been there for me. I'm always on the receiving end, and I feel bad. This time, I want to be the one to give back to him. Would you let me do that? Please? I... Of course. Suki. Thanks. I'll try my best. Alright, that's it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to slap the like button and leave a comment down below. 
If you're enjoying these videos, make sure to stay subscribed to keep up to date with all my latest content. I'll see you all in the next video.